Alright, so we found at the airport that there's this game we can play on this big screen, like a touch screen, like a tile matching thing. So we're trying it. Show it, come on now, it's time to go. It's time to watch the bracket to your show. Hello, Hi. do I look orange to you? Kinda, you look kind of reddish, reddish yellowy, something or other. But look at it, it's so orange out. The sun's a little clearer right here at the moment, but yeah. a few minutes ago it was like all up in the smoke. So, Everything looked orange. Yep. Just like I said on yesterday's vlog. Because I talked about it today. Uh huh. Yeah. But so, we'll see today's vlog so there's. Tomorrow. There's. Today's recording the next day. So, you know. Whatevs. <laughs> so it's so orange out here, and it's because there's a big fire going on again. More fires. And um, so this one came in like some other town out of Reading and then the, the fire smoke just kind of went over and so we're riding on the freeway on our way down to the uh, hotel that we're gonna stay at before we go to our to the, the airport for our flight to our trip and so all the smoke has come all the way out here so you can see it like all the way down on the horizon area like down there and so there's like smoke coming all the way from our area all the way down here to like cottonwood or whatever it is over here so crazy and orange and and makes the sky look so different so do you say orange or orange because carolyn says orange 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 how am i supposed to say it orange 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 that's all I say. Some people say orange. I don't know. Tomato, tomato. What about tomato? What about today? <laughs> it just rhymed. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> so we get really goofy and weird when we go on trips. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to sunny California. Oh, we just, we, we're already in California. <laughs> but now it's more sunny. Well, it's not sunny because it's dark out right now, but there's no smoke here where there was before. Because now we're in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what's funny about this room, though? What is funny about it? So this room is orange. <gasps> orange. It was meant to be. <laughs> Hashtag whatever it is that we're supposed to say for our stuff for our our event. event for the weekend. Yeah, the yeah. orange blinds, orange wall. Yeah, the orange wall and orange on the, on the bed. bed. Oh, so let's give you a tour of the hotel room. It won't take very long. It's really small. It's tiny. Oh my goodness. So we walk in, and you have this table right here with the air conditioner. <coughs> And you got this like dusky thingy bummer along here. And the floors are hard wood. They're wood. They're wood floors. Isn't that weird? I've never seen a hotel with wood floors before. Kind of a nice. Yeah. It's almost like a little perk to the room yeah. since it's so small. Yeah. And it makes it clean so you don't feel like you're like walking around on like scuzzy carpet that some hotels have. I think some hotels like. I don't know, it feels like they shampoo it all the time so it's still greasy and all that sort of stuff. But this is like nice and clean and super, super nice. Yep. That's so small that it sounds like a, a room in a ship if you've ever been on a cruise. Yeah. You get the room. This is about the size of the room. So the bathroom's a little bigger than the cruise ship. Though. You got the door, Sean and the wall, another wall right there. A small <laughs> little television. And then you have your little closet. And then you have the bathroom. And this looks kind of like a, a cruise ship bathroom too because the bathrooms had these little things here. And it's so tiny, it's this little bathtub. Look at that. 
Then you got your toilet. And then this is kind of cool how it has all the little spots and then you have like the towels in there. And the sink's kind of cool too. It's different. It's just so tiny, but it'll work. We're only here for one night and then we're traveling over to Oh, Oh. Oh, Oh. Oh. Ohio. Ohio. Not just O. Yeah. We're going to O. Hi. O. So, yeah. So, we're excited and we're only going to get like four hours of sleep tonight. <laughs> so, we better get to it. So, we better go to bed. Bye bye. Your seatbelt should be worn low and tight at this time. Oh to fasten your seatbelt, insert the flat metal fitting into the buckle till it clicks too tight. Pull on the loose end of the strap to release and lift up on the buckle and pull apart. Infant life vests are located in the overhead bin, identified with a placard in the forward bin. Instructions.
<laughs> Alright, so we found at the airport that there's this game we can play on this big screen, like a touch screen. Like a tile matching thing. So we're trying it. It has to be 36 seconds. How far are we going? Seconds. Aww. But I won. So close, so close. I still won though. Aww. Said you win. Haha. <laughs> Good job. Your turn. Alright, Carolyn's gonna play now. Here we go. Go. Okay, start start touching squares. Yeah, there's one match. Got to beat 36 seconds. Go, go, go! You still beat me. You have a few seconds left. Oh, you beat me by one second. <laughs> cool. That was cool, fun. that was fun, huh? <laughs>
So Sean found his luggage, and so that's good because you never know when they're gonna lose it. So we found that, and then we got a rental car, and we're renting a Kia Forte. We've never ridden in one, of, drove or ridden in one of these, so that's kind of different. That's kind of cool, huh? Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Welcome to my office. <laughs> this is where Sean will be editing vlogs for the next yep, four right days. Here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Little table. Yeah, yeah, little table. Or maybe I'll kick back on that chair. Yeah, could do that too. Put it on my lap and just. Yeah. Yep, yep. There we have it. So let's give you a tour of this hotel room, and it's much more spacious <clears throat> than the one that we stayed at last night. Not much and more, but. Slightly more. It doesn't feel as cramped. I think it helps that the, the bathroom and stuff is by the front door. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being in the back, because mm, like when true. we went in that room, we're used to going into a hotel room and you see the bathroom, you see the stuff, and then you see the bed, and then there's some space. Mm, that's true. But we went in there and it was like right when you open the door, there's the bed. Yeah. So I that's think that true. kind of partly was mentally part of it, but mm -hmm. it was really small and this is bigger. Yeah. Yeah, because you had like the this whole wall would have been that desk that was in the <clears> other one, and you have this desk, and then you have the refrigerator and the microwave. And then you have the TV and all this stuff. And the other places are all just like cramped together. But we were only there for one night, so it doesn't really make a big deal. Because if we were there for a lot of nights, then that'd be kind of crazy. But this room is super nice. We got this nice recliner chair. So you can we wax right here like this. Go like this. You have your legs on there. With your Argyle socks on. I'm a <laughs> Yeah, and then here's the bed, and it's always nice to see, you know, a nice clean bed with, uh, you know, funny marks and weird stuff on it. And then you got the little closety thing. You got a safe. You can put your safe stuff in, like the laptop and whatnot. And then you got a bathroom. Ta-da! Looks like a nice bathroom, and it has toiletries. That's always nice, too. So it has shampoos and... Um, and other stuff. That's cool. And a little soap thingy bobber and all that. And you got your shower. Yeah. Nice big shower. Nothing like that little one where it was like a little little cruise ship. That was crazy. And then you got all this other stuff here. So there you have it. There's the tour of our our humble abode for the next four days. Got anything else to say, Mr. Sean Boy? Life is good.